welcome to engineering study materials today we are going to discuss about the vertical thinking and horizontal thinking so for example we consider two kinds of people one who thinks vertically and one who thinks laterally or horizontally they are going in a road straight road and the road is extended or spread up into three ways the vertically thinking people chose their way at the time itself and ignore the two ways and go on the selected way but the lateral thinking people explores the three ways and finds what is the shortest route and what is the longest route what time it has taken to reach our goal in that way so this is the main cause or a effect of these kinds of people it impacts on their life itself the vertical thinking people suffers from this uh, when a problem arises in their life they think only the one way but the lateral thinking people finds the ways and explore the ways and finds the best solution to solve the problem in their life so this is a simple chart explains the vertical thinking and the horizontal thinking for a vertical thinking the time taken is short the data inputs also small research literature are the some references are also small and research taken is also a minimal but the research depth the problem solving technique is large but in case of the horizontal thinking due to the exploring of the ways or some of the uh, techniques they need a lot of time they have the large data inputs and have, they have a large research literature interdisciplinary research is more but research depth is somewhat small com when compared to vertical thinking because they are exploring more amount of uh, inputs time and more number of ways so that the research depth is somewhat minimum than the vertical thinking so let's discuss about the difference so what are the difference the vertical thinking people are selective while the lateral thinking are generative vertical thinking people moves only if there is a direction in which to move but moves in a direction to generate a direction and it is analytical but that is provocative and sequential vertical thinking it's uh, but lateral thinking makes jumps because if they find one one way is giving a right solution and explore the other way if the other way gives better solution than the previous one they jumps towards the better solution then one has to be correct at each every step but in lateral thinking one does not have to be one uses the negative in order to block off the certain pathways because if you are going in a straight way if there is a truck or a small um, stone or a something is there we move away from that this is the negative but lateral thinking people if they go on a straight road if there is any stone or some of them out of the time some of the uh, particles present they sweep them and go on a straight way and the vertical thinking people concentrates only on one thing itself and excludes welcomes chance intrusions and vertical thinking people follows the most likely paths because they want to go in a most safest path while lateral thinking people explores the least likely so this is a short video friends if you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and please subscribe this channel for more interesting videos so thank you for watching